So that's that, huh? Yeah, well, Melchior's still on the run, which does bug me. But the authorities in the guild have taken out all their bases and secured any routes that could be used to flee the country. Their partners in crime are being taken care of too, right? Indeed, the Grawl Smitter and Iscariot have put aside their differences for now to pursue the gardens. Several Jaegers, including those of Ika Ruga, and even the Society have also been working toward that end. Meanwhile, Heiwe and Marduk spearheaded the effort to expose all of Almada's connections. I believe their findings, which reveal a number of associates, have since been sold to the CID. That's quite a lot. Man, Gan and Sal never miss a beat. Abby and the rest of our people have been hard at work with Eisenshield too. As for the nuclear weapon, we don't need to worry about that either. Professor Hamilton and the other disciples supervised its disassembly, so it's no longer a threat. Professor Callahan isn't believed to have made any more, and the Mafia won't be capable of making more themselves anytime soon. Even if the one sword capable of detonating them was still in their possession, they would still need a device to be detonated. I might add that Calvert is aiding the congregation for the sacraments in going through and clearing the rubble that was once Vashtar Palace. They expect to have finished the task and found that sword together with the halberd and armor artifacts by mid next month. None of them can be used by anyone but their rightful owner anyway, right? <sighs> I guess once that's wrapped up, we'll be able to say this whole thing's well and truly over. I suppose so, yes. To think we've persevered through so much. We sure have. I'm still worried about Melchior, though. Just to me, it's strange how no one seems to have any idea where he is. I still can't believe what he did to his own boss. I don't know if I'll ever be able to understand how that guy thinks. Not that I want to. Psychopath does psychopathic things. News at 11. Just how it is. I wish I could have taken revenge on the last asshole responsible for my bro's deaths. I can't win them all, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave that one to the Oathbreakers people. They say you gotta fight poison with poison. Now it's time to see if he'll live up to that old saying. Right. But at least now, the world can finally be at ease.
So, now that we've dealt with Almada, things should be back to business as usual before long. There's still gonna be plenty on our plates, especially in the short term. But it's about time you guys started thinking about whether or not you want to keep working here. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that you should be thinking about this stuff. The Revolution Festival's in three days, and we're gonna be drowning in work until then for sure. Been a while since we could focus on four SPGs and Edith, so hope you're ready to dive in soon as breakfast is done.
latest forecast for regions throughout the Republic. The upcoming weather appears to be getting in the festive spirit as clear skies are once again predicted throughout the Revolution Festival. I'm sure we'll see scores of citizens out enjoying the day well worth celebrating when the time comes. Thanks for the update. Here we are with the latest in traffic. Yes, these are the most recent reports on the road courtesy of the Calvert Roadway Information Center. Traffic is heavy across Calvert as people from throughout the country make their way to Edith to take part in the Revolution Festival. In particular, traffic restrictions will be enacted in the Vontai District in preparation for the festivities. That's all we have for now. Oh, Mr. Arkride. Yes, we've been able to pinpoint groups related to them, their dummy corporations, and other illegal channels. I admit to some surprise at just how far outside of Calvert their reach spreads, but Marduk has largely decontaminated the areas over which it has influence. I suspect you would be on the winning side of that bet. Between the war against the Empire and the Tower and Crossbell appearing soon after, it feels like too much is happening too fast in Zemuria. As other countries seek to catch up with the Republic and its latest innovations, Zyphas, Assault Frames, I imagine the need for Marduk's services will only expand going forward. I am but a humble concierge. Nothing more, nothing less. My focus for the foreseeable future remains supporting you, Mr. Arkride. Be that with Mare or with your stun caliber. I could do most of my work remotely as I did before, of course, but I am now aware of just how much more inefficient that is. Well, I suppose I do. Though I would like to believe I'm making a fair contribution irrespective of that. Hmm. It's nothing, really. I was only thinking that I might not be able to help you from next month onward after all. You see, next month will mark one year since I was given this body, and it's about time it was given some thorough maintenance. Depending on matters here and the overall project status, I might have to return to my former environment. In that event, I would have no choice but to revert to assisting you remote. 
So you have an inkling as to what that former environment was? What gave it away? Was it something about the way I work? No, I suppose there isn't any point in me knowing. Please, don't misunderstand. As you're aware, Marduk is a logical, impartial corporation. So long as I keep demonstrating I can provide value to them, I don't doubt they will keep letting me use this body. In that regard, our relationship is quite equitable. I even plan to purchase it from them if all goes well. It most certainly is costly, but with my salary, I think it's possible that I could have enough Mira saved in a few years. My current arrangement here earns me even more than my remote work did, too. So I would like to keep at it as long as possible. Well, I can't give you a specific number, since that's classified information. But about enough to buy an Etwas entry-level sedan? one. They're supposed to be the same edition, but there's a bunch of little differences between their contents and viewpoints. It's been really eye-opening comparing them, even if there's also lots of stuff I don't really understand. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. So, Aaron promised to give me his old copy. You know, before I met you, I barely left the village. Most of my life was spent inside of it. But Ida wasn't kidding when she talked about how big the outside world is. Even if I dedicated my entire life to studying, I doubt I could learn all there is to know about it. N no, I totally get where you're coming from. The timing is right. Now that Almada's gone, I feel like I've been able to avenge Ida's death. It sounds like Abi's willing to forgive me for disobeying his orders, too. I also miss Umi, my mom, and my siblings Lana and Kamil, to tell you the truth. But I've also gotten used to living in Calvert, and I have a lot of fun at Sunday school. And more than anything else, I'd be really sad to say goodbye to you and everyone here. I guess you're right. You really think I could be like V? Yeah, I think so too. Still, I never even considered becoming a bracer. Is it okay if I think more about it? Okay. <laughs> what? You come to talk about that cold bunk you said to the kiddos? If it was gonna eat away at you, you shouldn't have said it in the first place. Looks lame when a dad passed his prime sulks over his teenage kids. Sure do. I'm a born and bred Longport boy, and I always will be. But I've only been here for three months. That's barely enough time to miss me. So unless I've got some specific reason to head back, I'm staying put. And I wouldn't mind going to a few other places, like Crossbell or Arabonia. Hell, I'd even put Eastern Zemuria on the table. Knock it off with the my baby's growing up vibe. Oh, and let's get one thing straight. Me staying in the capital doesn't mean I'm going to be at your beck and call. If the girls left and this place turned into a total sausage fest, I don't even want to think about how sad a sight that'd be. Yeah. 
You mean that tyrant? Yeah, nothing there. Yen can call me a reincarnation all he wants, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm as me as I can be. I decide what I want to do with my life, not some dusty old relic from the ancient past. And what's that supposed to mean? Don't be such a freaking creep. Anyway, get lost so I can have my fun. Though, if you don't mind waiting to kick some ass on the clock, that'll give me time to go tap some ass off the clock. Well, no. I shouldn't even be alive right now. I've decided to make the most of this chance, to try things I couldn't even imagine in my previous life, and have found myself rather enjoying them. The magazines you used to read were quite inspirational, if I'm being honest. Indeed. He may be a man of few words, but he is an honorable, just, and determined one, capable of seeing the greater picture. Rank-and-file armed monks trust him, so I would be confident in Iscariot's handling of matters if he were the only one they answer to. However... Correct. They took up their post after my retirement, so I've never met them. I believe their identity is considered a top secret, even among the Congregation for Divine Worship, to whom the Papal Guard also answers. I suspect only a small number of people know who they are. Several hundred Iscariot monks, the Cardinals of the Congregation for Divine Worship, the Commander of the Gralsritter, and the Pope. Whoever they are, they are without a doubt the Congregation's wild card. <laughs> it's far too late to be caring about such things, my young friend. Still, whether they are criminal or legal, your old friends or your assistants, I genuinely believe that the more people you know and interact with, the better. Who we meet shapes who we become. Be these relationships fortunate or foul, we are all the more human because of them. Surely the past five years have taught you this. There are things in life you cannot avert your eyes from, uh, no matter how hard you try. Whether you can realize that fundamental truth is down to you, Van. So you're going back to your apartment? Yeah, I guess that's the plan. I must have worried you sick, huh? It looks like Buzz Raider's finally given up on their stupid obsession with me, so it seems safe enough to live there again. There's been so much going on lately that I'm sure they've got bigger fish to fry now. Hmm? Oh, you're fine. I've actually been wanting to thank you for helping out Judith for a while now. Please pass on my regards to everyone else as well, including the family who runs the bistro. Now hold your horses! I'm the one who's been helping him out. So why is he the one getting thanked? Because I'm sure that you just weaseled your way into his trips outside the capital without taking no for an answer. I don't know all you've been up to, 
But I do know that you were able to return in one piece thanks to Arkwright Solutions' efforts. And with how much I respect you as my senior in the industry, I think it's only natural for me to want to say thank you. So you respect me that much, huh? That, I mean, not that it isn't perfectly natural for you to respect me, of course. <sighs> She's become such a sassy little thing. She was so cute and polite when she first started out, but look at her now. All that success must be going to her head. It's not late, but it's not really early either. I started acting at 14 myself. A lot of actors and actresses get their first roles when they're children even, which just goes to show how much of an unusual case she is. She ended up going from a rookie to a top actress in three years, which is just crazy. I didn't realize you knew your way around different acting techniques. I agree with you too. Her performance in Wolf's Requiem was amazing. But Gloria just blew me away. Boy, she's four years my junior and already she's nipping at my heels. She's sure not making it easy to stay top dog. But I say bring it on. I don't plan to go down without a fight. You better watch your darn mouth. And while I'm at it, I think what you said earlier was pretty out of line, too. So, now that we've dealt with Almada, things should be back to business as usual before long. But it's about time you guys started thinking about whether or not you want to keep working here. Wow, I didn't expect you to outright admit it. Then... Well, no, but that's not the same thing. I inherited my techniques from my mom and hers before her, and while they might not be legal, I still think the world needs... Oh, I get you now. I don't know what your secret is, but you've got something you don't want people to get involved in too, huh? Or I guess... Something you can't afford to let them get involved in. Uh, but I really, really don't want to give this place up. Well, I've got my next film's premiere coming up, so I'll go back to my old place before the festival, at least. I just wish I didn't have a bunch of stuff to report to Mom and Grammy first. Hello, Van. Oh, is it time to go already? Yeah, they don't have complete free will, but they do have a networked sense of self. Zeros is the same. They're around the same quality as those combat shells in the Empire, from what I understand. The other mare is leagues ahead of them on a technical scale, but Hadios knows how long it'll take humanity to make something similar. Oh, absolutely. We're talking singularities here. Still, we know it's theoretically possible. That was proven by what happened behind the scenes two years ago. You've heard all about that, I assume. <laughs> I'd like to help the professor with her work at some point, even if I don't feel like I'm quite ready yet. Still, I'd rather finish things here before moving on to something else. Working here has been incredible for broadening my horizons too, so... I think continuing my studies here would be more than worth its while.
Basel has patently more in the way of facilities, but the orbital network is lightning quick these days. It's even helped me attend lectures at the Institute remotely, so it hasn't been half as inconvenient as I was expecting. Being here will also let me take part in the project to upgrade the network currently in use in Edith and the surrounding area. Though, at some point, I'd really like to broaden my studies at the Epstein Foundation, ZCF, and Reinford. What? What? Uh, who are you? Aaron? You're probably right. It's nice how she always worries. Still, are you sure you aren't going to need my help after this month? Almada might be out of the picture, but the issue of the Genesis is still ongoing. And there's still a lot we don't know about Mare, the Grendel, or Marduk either. Then there's whatever Yang, Professor Cronkite, is working on with the President. <laughs> That's so random. And don't think I didn't notice you patting me on the head. You've become very red, Katra. My temperature is perfectly normal, thank you very much. Okay, that should do it. Oh, Van, is it almost time to go? I was told there's more to him sleeping in the sun than just imitating dogs, too. He can turn the sun's rays into orbital energy. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm starting to feel the pressure, to tell you the truth. The end of April still feels like a long ways off now, but I know it'll be here before we know it. I was able to attend last year's festival just after enrolling, and there was just so much to see and do over those three days. It was hard to believe that the whole event was planned and executed by students alone, even if quite a lot of them did take part. <laughs> the other student council members and I are a little worried about that. So you did attend Aramis then? Just like Elaine and Mr. Kincaid. I see. Of course, after getting to know you so well, I can imagine that whatever you organized for it was anything but typical. <laughs> I'm sure Elaine was less than impressed with it. While Mr. Kincaid thought it would be funny and thoroughly approved, even though he probably shouldn't have. I should have known. You were pushing the boundaries of legality even as a teenager. So the festival came to a close, and the student council elections were held in May. That's when Elaine became the next president. And when you dropped out, I assume? 
You did it without warning, too. Without so much as a single discussion with anyone beforehand. So, how right am I? <laughs> well, I know the average school year at RMS, so I just put two and two together after seeing the way you talk to them. That, and these last few months, have also done wonders for my personal growth. I used to be this shy little girl who was afraid to leave her comfort zone. Someone who couldn't even speak her mind to the one family member she wished she could the most. But now, I feel like a whole new me. I can walk a little further, and have learned to say what's in my heart. I have everyone here to thank for that. But most of all, I have you to thank for that. Oh, stop. I doubt that'll be the case. Though there is one person I wish would pay a bit more attention to me. Nothing. I was just thinking that I still have a long road ahead of me. Appreciate you always stopping by. I hate getting sweaty, but I could get used to this. <sighs> I'm really working up a sweat. You look nice and refreshed. Hey, uh...
What'll it be, hun? See you again! What's on the menu? Be seeing ya. Oh! Why, hello? Looking is always free, you know. Come back for more anytime. Why not take some Say, why not take some flowers with you? I hope I Oh, thank you. Dawdling and buy something. Stay out of trouble now. Enough now. Uh, what'll it be? Come again. I appreciate it. May we be on our way. Good grief. I can handle any maintenance. Thanks for being such a good customer. What'll you have today? Oh, that's great! Thanks for- Don't mind if I do. May we be on our way. Gonna eat something? Hey, welcome! Thanks, pal. May we be on our way. Seen you before. Guess I'll check out. What will it be? I'll be seeing you. Oh, I've got some fine wares for sale. Ha! Best come again. Oh, I've got some. Best come again soon. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We await your next visit. Let's talk. Don't take too long to just come back soon. Hey, mister. What'll you have today?
Thanks for coming! Thanks. Thanks! Let's roll! Hello! Thank you for your visit today. The showing on screen one will soon begin. If you have a ticket, please proceed to the entrance. You want to break it off? Just like that? Oh, come on. It was just a bit of a fling, right? Just two lonely people trying to feel less lonely for a while. I'm studying abroad and you're moving back to your main office. It's like Adios herself planned for us to separate. Fine, I get it. Guess this is it then. You better make those dreams of yours come true. Of course I will. Who do you think you're talking to, hmm? <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. Well, take care, Mia. You take care too, Will. Thanks for a wonderful time. <sighs> Why'd it have to rain? Damn it, Will. Couldn't you tell these were tears? <laughs> 